Among the towering giants of the late Cretaceous, one herbivore stood out, not for its ferocity, but for its sheer size and power. This is Shantungosaurus, the largest duck-billed dinosaur to ever walk the earth. Shantungosaurus was a colossal creature, measuring up to 15 meters, 49 feet in length, and weighing between 12 to 16 tons. It was as long as a school bus and as heavy as two elephants. This made it the largest known non-sauropod herbivore. So what made it grow so big? Its massive size was no coincidence. It evolved to fill a specific ecological niche. One critical factor, the absence of sauropods, the long-necked giants that had dominated earlier periods. Around 70 to 66 million years ago, when Shantungosaurus lived, sauropods were rare or absent in many parts of Asia. This left a gap in the ecosystem, creating an opportunity for a new mega herbivore to emerge. Without sauropods consuming vast amounts of vegetation, Shantungosaurus stepped in. Its immense size allowed it to dominate the landscape, accessing plants at multiple levels, from ground level foliage to taller shrubs and trees. Size also provided protection, as fully grown individuals were likely too massive for predators like Tarbosaurus, a close relative of T. rex to easily target. Herds of these giants would have presented a formidable defense. As a member of the Hadrosaur family, Shantungosaurus possessed the characteristic duckbill, a broad, flat snout perfectly suited for efficiently stripping vegetation. Its greatest advantage, however, lay in its jaws, which housed over 1,500 teeth arranged in tightly packed rows. These teeth were specially adapted for grinding tough plant material and continuously regenerated as older ones wore down. This adaptation made Shantungosaurus one of the most efficient herbivores of its era, capable of consuming the vast amounts of food needed to sustain its enormous size. Fossil evidence indicates that Shantungosaurus was a herd animal. These herds likely traveled long distances in search of food, shaping their environment as they grazed. By clearing vegetation, they created space for other species to thrive, acting as ecosystem engineers. The first fossils of Shantungosaurus were discovered in the 1960s in Shandong Province, China, giving the dinosaur its name. Paleontologists uncovered partial skeletons, including skulls, limbs and vertebrae, revealing just how enormous this dinosaur was and solidifying its status as the largest hadrosaur ever found. Despite its massive size, Shantungosaurus was remarkably versatile. It could walk on all fours to support its weight while grazing, but may have stood on two legs to spot predators, reach higher vegetation or possibly move faster. This adaptability likely played a crucial role in its survival, enabling it to thrive in diverse environments with varying food sources and threats. By filling the ecological gap left by the absence of sauropods, Shantungosaurus became the dominant herbivore of its time. Its immense size and adaptability not only ensured its survival, but also cemented its place as one of the most extraordinary giants of the late Cretaceous.